Today I'm going to be making some green chicken enchiladas from scratch, but first let's jump into the ingredients. For our enchiladas, we're going to need two chicken breasts, three jalapenos, one pound of tomatillos, a small piece of onion, a handful of cilantro, two garlic cloves, three bay leaves, and for our seasonings, I'll be using some ground black pepper, garlic salt, regular salt, oregano, and chicken bouillon. As always, everything will be listed in the description box down below. Now let's get started. So go ahead and add in two chicken breasts to a pot, along with a small piece of onion and three bay leaves. Go ahead and fill the pot about halfway with water. And season that to your liking with some ground black pepper, garlic salt, oregano, and chicken bouillon. After seasoning our chicken, let that boil for about 45 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked. Once our chicken is almost done, add in one pound of tomatillos to a separate pot along with three jalapenos. Then we're going to fill that up with water and boil for about 10 minutes or until softened. Now that our chicken is fully cooked, we're going to move that to a bowl so we can shred it. Make sure to reserve the bay leaves and onion from the broth. That way we can use it for our sauce later. Go ahead and shred your chicken however you'd like. Then add it back into the broth so it stays flavorful and juicy. Now to a blender, we're going to add in our boiled tomatillos and jalapenos, two garlic cloves, a handful of cilantro, our bay leaves and onion we set aside earlier, one and a half cups of water either fresh or from the tomatillos, chicken bouillon, salt, and oregano. Blend that well, then heat up some oil in a pot. Once our oil is hot, pour in the sauce and simmer that for about 10 minutes. While our sauce simmers, heat up some oil in a pan and begin lightly frying some corn tortillas. Shake off the excess oil and dip the tortilla in our sauce. Set that on a plate, add on some of our juicy cooked chicken and roll that up. Then repeat. Once we're done making our enchiladas, we can now begin to serve. I like to have these with fiesta blend cheese, extra sauce, lettuce, tomato, homemade salsa, and sour cream. Now it's ready to enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more of my recipes. And if you get this recipe a try, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!